Hi everybody, we're here with another edition of Studio 90 Extra Time and we're on the eve of the U.S. Women's National Team's Olympic opener against France. So who better to have on the show than forward Abby Wambach. Yeah. Woo! Thanks for Woo. stopping by Studio 90 Extra Time. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to be here as always. You're always a focused athlete, but during World Championships, you seem to be laser focused. What goes into that? What does that laser focused attitude entail? Well, you know, having a career, a long career, like many of us have had, um, there's times that you have to pick and choose uh, where those focus moments are going to be. And of course, World Championships are the best times to play for every athlete. It's the pinnacle of, of what we do. And, and for me, um, I don't know, there is something special. Uh, I don't know if I'm like the Friday night light kind of girl where once the lights turn on, uh, I play, I'm definitely more of a gamer than a practice player. All of my coaches would probably agree with me there. And at the end of the day, I just want to help my team win games. So I want to stay as focused as I can. The team had a day off the other day. I know some of the girls went for a walk, did some shopping. Did you just hang out in the hotel? Yeah, there's usually a few of us that have kind of a cutoff day where we don't do many things outside the hotel uh, for me outside my room. I was in my room all day. Um, I don't know what it is. It's almost like I don't want to expend any energy that I know I'm going to need for the next couple of weeks, hopefully. I do feel like I play a very spirited game, an emotional, uh, energy-specific game. So honestly, it really I don't think will feel like the Olympic Games until I'm sitting on the bus on the way to Hamden Park uh, tomorrow. So I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Your game against France tomorrow is being considered the marquee opening game of the women's soccer tournament. We know you love big games. How ready are you to get out there and, and open the Olympics? France is a good team, and we feel like we're excited about the opportunity about playing them first. Um, not only does it give us a little bit of leeway moving on in, in our first group stage uh, against Colombia and North Korea, but it also gives us an opportunity to come play hard out of the, out of the gates. We want to play well. and. France is a really good team. They've got players that have won Champions League. We've got, they've got players that uh, were in the World Cup last summer and players that weren't, uh, that will be in their starting lineup. So we're excited about the opportunity of, of facing a really great opponent and, and hopefully we can get points out of this game. Even though this is their first Olympics, France is being talked about as one of the favorites to win gold here at the Olympics based on their performance last summer in Germany, obviously. What makes them so dangerous? Well, I think that they've got specific players that play their roles and do the things really well. Their coach coaches them brilliantly. Uh, he plays a different kind of system than most other teams play in the world, and he's got the players to, to support that system. Um, you know, you got an Asib, a Bon Pastor, uh, Camille Abelie, players that are as good as some of our players. But you know, it's going to be a matter of who puts the best performance in the field tomorrow to get the three points. You know, we want to secure three points so that we can uh, have control of our group moving on in the tournament. Soccer is the first event that's starting in the Olympics. You're actually playing two days before the opening ceremonies. What are your thoughts on starting so early and kind of having all eyes on you for these first couple of days? I love that. I think it's really cool. We're the first U.S. team. We're the first game that, that, that gets played for the U.S. So I think a lot of, a lot of people in the United States will be watching our, our game and you know, I think that it gives us an opportunity to show the, the world what kind of, what kind of team we, we are. And we're different than we were last year. We're a better team than we were last year in Germany. Um, yeah, we fell short, and I think that we're all willing to prove to the rest of the world that um, we've, got, we've got a better team, and, and hopefully we'll be standing on the top podium at the end of the tournament. I know you and Alex Morgan have both been asked about your relationship on the field probably a million times. I know she sometimes comes to you for advice or sometimes she gets that advice from you even if she doesn't ask. What are some of the themes between the two of you on the game field and on the training field? Well, the thing about soccer is that nothing is perfect and no touch, no game, no person, no player is perfect no matter who you are. And as long as you understand that, and as long as you're, the player right next to you understands that whenever mistakes happen or successes happen, you have to stay grounded. You can't get too high or too low, especially as a forward. They say we're supposed to have the shortest memories in the world. Uh, you know, we miss one chance and the next one we're supposed to be focused. 
I, I, th I like to think that Alex and I have that kind of relationship where if one person's struggling a little bit throughout the game, the other person carries them along. And Alex is now experienced enough. I, I trust her enough to be able to do that for me. Uh, she's going to be necessary, and it's going to be important to have her playing and her on the field throughout this entire Olympics. And I, I know that to be the case for everybody that's going to be on the field. Uh, everybody's going to make a difference as long as we understand that we need each other. I need Alex to play well, and she needs me to play well. Uh, and as long as we want to be that dynamic duo up top and help our team win games, uh, we've got to play well for each other and for our team. We all know how important set pieces are to the modern game, but it seems like lately, in every single one of the USA set pieces, you're just getting absolutely mauled. How do you handle that on the field? Well, I expect that. You know, I think that statistically speaking, we score a lot of goals. We get a lot of chances on set pieces. I being one of the, the, the targets f for our team, you know, they're going to stick one of their strongest, tallest defenders on me. And on some level, that's great. But on the other level, I want to, you know, I still want to get chances. If somebody else is now wide open because they're putting one or two players on me, great. You know, that's giving us a better chance to, to get uh, a goal. But we're really good at set plays. And the most important thing is if Megan Rapino keeps putting balls in um, that she's been putting in as of late, we're going to score a lot of goals in set plays this, this Olympics. Tomorrow against France, can you expect to be face marked? Face marked. There we go again. <laughs> you know what's so funny about that is I've gotten a lot of grief from my teammates about that, but they know exactly what I'm talking about whenever I say she's face marking me. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow in terms of face marking. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that she face marks me because it's easier to, to get away from a defender in that way, but. Yeah, we'll see about the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see Abby and the U.S. Women's National Team take on France tomorrow at noon Eastern time on the NBC Sports Network. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby Wambach.